Hi, my name is Dennis Siri. I am executive director and founder of the New York City Independent Film Festival, Independent in Spirit, International at Heart. And this is the New York City Independent Film Festival Meet the Filmmakers podcast. Join us while we meet this year's filmmakers. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to today's episode. We're here with Ray Wang. So hi, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Hello, my name is Ray Wang. I am from China. I grew up in Beijing and I'm currently studying film and television in the University of Edinburgh. Um, And I make music videos for a living. Um, I'm trying to make, uh, go into fiction more. So what made you want to be a filmmaker? What was, when did you first decide, oh, I'm going to be a filmmaker. That's how I'm going to make a living. Um, I think there is a mixture of things that made me want to become a filmmaker. Um, well, there is the family aspect of it. Um, my father works in the drama industry. He, he's a stage designer. So he makes, um, like, He's a stage designer, so he does like a lot of decorative stuff um, for big dramas like um, um, Don Giovanni and stuff like that. So um, I guess I grew up in that kind of environment and my mom is also a fashion designer. Um, They always tell me to um, pursue in what I love. And I think with the age that I'm living in right now, it's... um, it's more complicated than before. There's more um, elements of arts. When you look at it, there's music, um, there's painting, and there's drama, theater, and there's a lot more um, than before. So I think film is the mixture of all these things. And it's a really, really nice medium that combines all these elements. Um, Plus, it's also really cool to be a director. It just Basically, it's cool, cool to be thing. a director. <laughs> yeah. I, what do you do? I'm a director. Yeah, yeah, oh, that sense. sounds good. All right. <laughs> and uh, the, the next question, actually, you answered already. I was going to say, have your friends and family been supportive? So I think the answer is yes. How, do, how would you answer that? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my family are very supportive of what I'm doing. Um. But unfortunately, they are not in the film Um society in china so they cannot provide me with much connections so i have to basically start up on my own um with my brother i was going to mention i have a brother who is two years younger than me um he's called yu ming he was meant to join the interview today but he's too shy to do it um he is my um, co-director and also my dop he so he basically sh- shoots all of my films and um including this one so we have to start up and start to figure out um the like from that technical aspects and everything on our own um it's quite a challenging thing to do in the beginning but um i really enjoy the process all right so where you live in beijing is there like a, a tribe a support group like a people who you you t- can turn to at any time and say, oh, I'm having this problem or whatever. You know, your your group of filmmakers. Do you have? Um, unfortunately, I don't think I found a group that would support me um, yet, because the way I see it, um, or the way I experiment, uh, experienced stuff um, from the past is that people in China are all really really competitive um when it comes to filmmaking i guess it's similar to all different aspect of arts they just kind of perceive it a bit different than how others would do like i see i see filmmaking as like a collaborative experience but i think a lot of chinese kids around me they see it as um a measurement like getting into festivals and um, being ranked really high and being very achievable. And that is what they're after. So in terms of providing other people help, um, there's less help when there's more competition. Um, 
if you know what I mean. <laughs> yep, that, that makes sense. Okay. Um, what made you decide to make an that particular move? Um, I think that's also a really complicated thing. Um, because um last year I was experiencing um uh, basically a accident existential crisis. Um, I tried to question my existence in like the world, right? And there's like so many people existing on the world that I start to think that maybe I'm not needed in this world. Maybe like, maybe if I disappear, the so the society and the world will function. It would still uh, grow. A lot um, of teenagers go through that, so don't feel you know it's it's. Luckily, you grew out of it. But anyway, go ahead, continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, it's just like. I try to make out of it, like, what does it mean to exist? And Ang is basically my attempt to answer that. It's about this character that lives in the film and who tries to speak something that's not part of the script. Um, but as a result, the film itself is the medium that traps it, um, traps him. And that character is myself. And I played in that film. Um, as the main character so um, it's a very very from where I'm standing right now it's a very shallow um, understanding of existing and existentialism but um, it was my best attempt at that time I think good I'm glad you sent it to us yeah thank you okay and what was the hardest part about making this movie um money money yeah yeah money um at the time so i i don't know how other independent filmmakers work but um the people around me we all like sponsor our own film it's quite um so it's quite difficult and for so for this film i think we had the budget of like 600 pounds so it's really, really low. And basically the entire crew member were like um, friends from Edinburgh and like my film major. I'm like, I got this project. I have this script. If you want to hop on and try to help me out with um, this particular scene. So we film. it took us like, it's quite a short film, but it took us a long time to plan and try to make things happen. So I think, with more money, it would definitely work out better. Um, so the hardest challenge is always money. <laughs> okay. And what was the most fun part of making the movie? Um, I think the most fun part is also the lack of money. Like, because we didn't have money, um, we tried so many different ways to get the shot. So the, there's a lot of stuff that, I, I probably shouldn't mention, but um, this one time we we rented a room in the school and we taped the smoke alarm up and tried to put smoke machine into the room and create like a nightclub atmosphere. It was pretty, pretty fun. Um, yeah, so. Okay, all right, that's cool. And so, okay, the other question is, when you make a film, can you let it go? Or you always sit there and look at it and say, oh, I could have done that better. Do you always going back and re wanting to reshoot your movies or wanting to redo them? Or do you shoot your movie and figure, okay, this is what I've got. I now have to move on to the next project. Um, I think I go, I'll be the latter because um, when I make a movie, well, maybe both because... I always think that, oh, I should have done better. I should have, um, oh, this shot, it doesn't look as great as I had imagined in my mind or as we have executed. Um, but in the post-production, I always think that um, this is what we've got. And, and like surprisingly, I never want to go back to reshoot anything. Um, so it's like, that's done. And what can I do with this material? Um, for some 
like somehow it does it just always works out um yeah. or should work out i don't know um yeah i i always see that as part of the past and i i don't like to visit the past that often um i like to look forward to the future and think what i can do and what i will do okay great that's good all right so if uh okay now in the indie film world um, you really don't ever become rich. Very, very few people do. So what would you measure as success? Like, What would you consider success in the indie film? I think there's something that I need to mention um, that's also quite important to this conversation is that my father, he puts a lot of pressure on me and my brother in terms of being successful because he's also invested a lot of time um, to educate us and his definition of success is commercial success um, is being able to put your film on a big screen and make a lot of money and become like a well-known um, director but to me I think it's success is in the indie film world or in film in general is to be able to make something that you're truly satisfied with and that you can just say okay this is what i can do this is the best i can do in my life in the entirety of my life and this is the top top thing and after this i can stop and that's like that moment should be success. And I think um, in that sense, there is never an end to this success because first of all, I always think that this is the best I can do. Um, whenever, um, for example, when I'm working, I was I just flew back from London. Um, when I was shooting the, this music video, I thought I just look at the monitor and I was like, this is so good. This is like, gold this is the best i can do um and i'm so happy with it i cannot be more satisfied um but then i look at the footage i'm like maybe i should have done better or maybe there's a lot more i can do in the future you know i have so much more potential um for that's myself good. so i think success is something that's not reachable um but you're always pursuing well, that, and that works that's, in the indie film. I, 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 I think always want to be better. I yeah. Think. All right. And if somebody younger came to you, or you're fairly young yourself, but somebody younger, let's say some 12 year old, your 12 year old nephew came to you and said, Hi, Uncle Ray, I want to be a filmmaker. What would you say to them? I'm going to be an indie filmmaker like you. What would you say to them? Um, <laughs> um I would say, don't don't do films um and that if that doesn't turn him down he's suitable for making films so i always turn down people trying to ask me i'm not i'm i'm like 22 years old so i don't i have not had anyone coming to me who asked about like pursuing a career in film but um i always try to turn people down when they want to do filmmaking because i know that like true passion like the the desire um of making film is unstoppable and it's unstoppable by any other forces any other people mm -hmm.